Hi everyone. It's been quite a while since I have shown you my traveler's notebook. I, as you can see, am still using it and still love it. I have been using it now for six months, so I wanted to do a review on it and how I'm still loving it. My system has stayed the same. I still have my entire planning system in here as well as my wallet system, but my setup has completely changed both on the inside and the outside. You have gotten some sneak peeks over the last few months, but I just wanted to show you everything and how I've been using it. Let's go ahead and start with the leather. And as you can see, it's just this gorgeous caramel color. I love it. And this is really why I wanted the all natural leather. Look, just so you have a reference point, this is where it begins, just really light colored. And then it darkens over time, both with use and being exposed to the elements and things like that. I don't really leave mine out in the sun or anything like that when I'm driving, it's in my purse, but just with the normal wear and tear, it does get to this color. So as you can see the difference between brand new leather and the six months. And then I also have my tag here that I made a few months ago, just so you have another reference point. So here's the difference between the different colors of the leather as it ages. So brand new, this tag right here is probably two to three months old. So several months and then the six months. So I love that about this leather that it just kind of just is this organic weathering type of process. And it, as you can see, it's got some staining on it. I'm sure it's dirty. I do need to do a clean it and condition it, which I'll do an, a video on that when I get that done because you do need to do it at the six month mark. But I just love it. I love these just natural scratches in it and the, the wrinkles right here of the, that's one of the characteristics of a leather. It's just, it's got normal ones and then it also has ones that you put on it as you use it. So I completely love it. Now on the outside, I would have to say that this Hobonichi clip right here is really what started the changes. I, I got this and I wanted to incorporate that. There was nothing wrong with my binder clip that I was using over here on the side. I just wanted my pen on the front for some reason. And when I, I had, I have some things to show you that this is what I was using with the, the turquoise Hobonichi ruler clip, which again, I really love that, but I wanted something with my pen on the front. And so that's really why I changed. And then when I put this on there, I didn't like the way that the black looked with my turquoise elastic. And so that's why I changed to my black elastic. And I just think this looks really classic. I, Love this look. I really think number one that the leather for me at least goes through all the different seasons, you know, spring, summer, fall, and winter. I think that it's just as very classic and I don't feel like I need to change out colors or anything like that as I go throughout each season. And then also with the black, I think it lends more of more of the autumn and winter type of feel. Whereas the turquoise is kind of more the spring and the summer. Anyway, that's, you know, that's about as crazy as I'm going to get with my traveler's notebook here. And then with my pens, my normal preferred pen is a blue black. And for some reason I'm really preferring black. It's probably to coordinate with the elastic. These are the two pens that I really have been using a lot the past few months. This is the smash pen that has the glue on the end. The glue on this particular pen is dried out, but I do really love the pen as well as I want to use it up because because the glue is dried out. Unfortunately, it doesn't really fit very well into the pen clip. It just only fits on the outside like this. When I get really crazy and ambitious, I will put it under the elastic, but normally it's just kind of flopping around or I just throw this in my purse. And then this one, which is a Pilot Precise V5. I really like this pen. And again, I'll just either have it on the clip or I'll put it under the elastic just like this. But those are the two pens that I mainly use in there. So not really doing a lot of color coding, which is another change that I've made. The only thing about this Hobonichi clip I'll say is you can see right here that the paint is chipping. So that's just something to think about as well as if you, especially if you don't have your pen in here, this kind of grabs onto something and can kind of flip off. I've had this come off both in my purse and outside when I've just been carrying this around. It actually fell off in a Target parking lot. A few months ago in the middle, it was dark. It wasn't the middle of the night, but it was nighttime. And fortunately I had some good hearing at the time and kind of heard this weird clink. And so I was able to find my clip, but those are just a couple things to keep in mind that it, it does have that and it kind of slides around like this, but I do still really like the pen clip. And then I just changed my metal tag that I had the Tim Holtz metal tag to my word of the year, which I, I have a video on that and I will, 
I'll link that one and also my three month review and any other relevant videos below so you can just kind of have a reference point on that. But I just changed it to my word of the year and I really, really like it. I, it doesn't, I don't have that twisting problem that I had with the Tim Holtz metal tag for some reason. I don't know why, but it just doesn't really twist around. I also like that it's flexible and for the most part, this is the position I keep it in, which is on this, on right here and just to cover up the pages. I don't know why, I just, that's just really how I like it. And then I also changed my charm. I had my, what was it, my shamrock here my four leaf clover and I just changed it out to my pineapple, which I really like. And I think I had originally said I got this from Etsy, but it wasn't. I got this as a 20 pack from Amazon for only a few dollars and I completely love these. So of course I love pineapples. Let's go ahead and go to the inside. This also has changed quite a bit. Now originally I had these pieces of paper from this pad right here and I really like that but I was finding that I didn't really need some, any more paper because I had my Midori thin paper insert which I think is 017 so I, I'm sorry if that number is wrong but I just didn't need a lot of paper extra paper because I already had some and so then I changed it to the recollections sticky notes which were awful but I love the idea of having like a dashboard with your sticky notes so when I used up all of those, I made my own little dashboard type of thing here. And I put my scripture of the year that co correlates with my word. And then I just have different size of sticky notes here. These I consider large, even though they're the standard three by three size. And then I have some smaller ones, as you can see that they're seasonal. And so when I use these up, I'll just change it out to something else. But I did have some Halloween ones last month. And then, so this one I would consider like a medium size, and then this one, of course, my page flags. Or I have a lot smaller ones that I use, just like, you know, kind of inch by inch and a half or something like that. But I have the cute little Indian girl page flags that I use for my planning. And so I really like that. Now, the other thing, these, of course, are terrible sticky notes. And so I just have, which this one's actually ripping, but what I was surprised about is I have, you can see right there, I have a, just a little piece of double stick tape and I thought it would actually stick onto the sticky notes, but it doesn't, it stays down here. So even though, as you can see, it sometimes causes a problem with that last one. I really, really like that. Same thing with this one. I have to, on both of these, I have to have the double stick tape to keep those down, but the post brand, of course, I don't because they're awesome. So that's how I have this. As you can see, I made it a little bit short. I think this is four inches by I'm going to say eight inches and I should have made that just about a quarter of an inch longer. So four inches by eight and a quarter inches if you're used to, if you're wanting to make your own. And then I just, as you can see, laminated it and it's double sided. I have something else on the back that I really like for the paper. And then this has always been kind of my grocery list, shopping list kind of a thing. As you can see, I have different stores, scratching things out, returning things, all that kind of different thing. Now, a lot of times with my shopping, I don't necessarily, it's not store specific. And so I do still have a list sometimes here of just kind of a running list of the week when I'm going to the store. And then other things, it is specific. Like I do need to take specific things back to Joann's. And so when I'm there, I'll have some th a list of things that I want to look for to exchange. So that's, that's how kind of, you know, this is a mess. I didn't change it at all. So you can see how I really use it. I have this cute little Oto clip here, which is O-H-T-O, and that is from Jet Pens. I love these. Like, I look at these, and I just can't hardly even be sad because these just make me so happy. I did change out my monthly. So I do have, let me show you, this is my entire monthly system here, and I still have a monthly, a weekly, and a daily. Before what I had, which I'll show you, was... An insert that I made, I used DIY Fish Weeklies, which you can see right here. And then I had some daily pages with my fold-out bookmark dashboard. Let me try and get that all in frame, which is all right here. And then here are the pages that I made for my daily pages. Now, there was nothing wrong with this system, except for the fact when you do something like this, you have to have a very reliable printer that is easy to use. And unfortunately, I don't have that. And I was... To spare you all the details, I just had printer problems, and so I ended up having to go to the Midori system of planning. And so that is why I changed out my monthly here. I had the Ray Blake 
free insert, which again was really great, but I liked the Midori ones better because the, the boxes are actually a lot bigger and larger and the Midori paper was just a lot better than what I had laying around and was printing on. And so that's what I'm using for my monthly. And I still have this little 12 by 12 cardstock piece of paper that I cut down. It has a I look, it's getting dirty. I should have laminated it, but I didn't, but it's got lined paper on one side and then a calendar on the other. And then this one right here, my second elastic is going to be the Midori Weekly. This is horizontal. And let me see if I can get a page to show you. That's what that looks like. I'm normally a vertical girl, but for some reason when I was looking at the Midori Weekly verticals, it just didn't seem like it had enough space to write. And I have small handwriting. And so that's why I went with the vertical and what I normally do is just have appointments and day specific things right here and then right here I'll write down goals and where I need to go, people I need to call, just things that aren't date specific but tasks I need to do for the week that I will do right here. And as you can see I decorated it with some stickers I had laying around. And then my third elastic which is the last of my planning system is again Midori and this is the 005 daily. And it looks like, I have some, let me see if I can get a blank page. So that's what it looks like right here. I just use whole reinforcements to circle the day and then the actual, the date for the month is actually over here. This is two months worth of dailies. And so I will just write, the, pretty much it's just a boring list of my to-dos and tasks that I want to get done for the day. I will probably do some flip throughs of these at a later time, but I also have some smash, you've probably all seen these, the smash little flag type of things right here. I just glued some together and for my little tabs right here. And so that is my entire planning system. So a monthly, weekly, and a daily. And as you can see, it's pretty much a little bit more than half of my entire traveler's notebook. And I have to say that the system itself is what I need. I need all of those, especially a daily, but for some reason I am struggling a little bit because I don't like to have them in separate books. So I am committed to the system until the end of the year and then I will be changing out my system. But I do want to use what I have. I did have these Midori inserts and I did want to use them and I am, but I am struggling just a little bit just to let you to be completely honest. I did try originally just to have the monthly and the weekly in here. I wanted to see if I really could do without it. Like I, I thought I needed a daily and I did. I really struggled with it for that month that I tried just with the daily. And I did have my, the reason I did is because I had my monthly, weekly, and I still had my thin paper insert in there. I tried all four inserts in here. So having all four of those plus my wallet, way, way, way too thick. And so that's why I ended up taking out my Thin paper insert as well as it was almost out. I do only have a few more pages left of that. I do want to show you a couple things that I did have in there and that was my sticker books right here. I did have those in there and again it was just too thick and I really don't plan too much on the go and so even though I completely love these I just need, didn't need to have them with me all the time but as you can see I still have them. I do still use them. They just aren't in my actual traveler's notebook and I don't tote those around. Then my last little elastic, as you can see, has tons of stuff on it. This is my entire wallet and personal financial system right here. This still has remained the same. This is from one of my favorite Etsy shops and that is Taroko Shop. Again, I will link that below. This is their EVA semi-transparent plastic card holder and zipper case. Love it. So this is not PVC plastic, which was something I was looking for where it's, it's a better type of plastic. It's better for the environment. This is a lot softer. It's semi-transparent instead of completely transparent. It has like a satiny feel to it and it is a matte surface. Anyway, I really like it and it's got your three pockets here and then it's also got a pocket right here. As you can see, I do have some stickers here and some washi and some page flags. I, I use these. I have to be honest and say I don't use my stickers. They're just here. And I, I usually cringe when I hear other people say that. 
And I think for me, it's kind of, I am saving the best for last. I love these Reset Girl stickers and I just needed something here. And this particular one, I think it's her Honey Girl collection. I just really love these for fall with just the coral, the gold, the teal, I don't know what you call it, and then the grays. I just, I love this for the color. But I wanted to save these and use up some of my other less desirable things, especially these Target flags and some other stickers that I've been using. And so these are just kind of a placeholder. And then again, this is her same color collection. And this is the actual Midori Traveler's Notebook stickers that are made for them. And so that's what's in the first part of that plastic zipper or the plastic card holder. And then this is a new addition that you have not seen. This is another thing from the Taroko shop, which I am 100% in love with. This is their washable craft folder. You heard me right, it's washable. It's made out of a type of paper material. It's, they call it craft text. And you can actually, they say, wash this hundreds of times and it will still keep its shape. And it's supposed to develop a kind of like leather type of feel and grain to it. So the super cool, it does not rip or tear. And that's something that I was really looking for was a long-term solution. I did have a couple of other folders here, which this was the first thing I made. And I love the paper and I just had one pocket here. And then this was something that I had laying around. And then I also had the Annika Hanby folder. And again, there was nothing wrong with these. I just feel like I've upgraded and found something that I liked better. The Annika Hanby folders are gorgeous, but since they're paper that they do rip, I was having a problem with them ripping with the elastic up here at the top. I did have to round the corners and it still was ripping a little bit. So I just wanted something that was just a really long-term solution. And I found it. I am 100% in love with this thing. It's environmentally friendly and it just is, it feels, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it feels like paper, but it's just kind of this weird type of fabric that they've made up, which I love. And it also, if you can get this wet and it doesn't like dissolve or anything like that, even though it's technically paper. Anyway, I, as you can see, I am just completely in love with it. So with the, right here, I have just some extra papers because now that I don't have my Midori thin paper insert in here, I did need a couple of pieces of scrap paper. So I just have a few of each of these. This is probably the smallest piece of paper I have. This is really super thin craft paper that it, it literally is paper thin. And then of course I've got some Yoda because who doesn't need some Yoda paper in there? Again, it's kind of like with the post-its. I just like to have different sizes of the paper and the post-its for different needs. And then with the card slot right here, I just have a gift card that I need to use up. And then I it goes to my leather bomb kuchen, which I, again, I have a review on this one. This is the essential leather zipper case. And this is where I keep my actual wallet contents. So I've got my three cards that I use specifically every day. These are my long-term long cards that will never change. Now you're probably wondering, what do I do and why do I need all these different pockets? Well, what I was finding with this particular wallet is because it's got the stitching up here, when I'm standing in line at the store, it was really hard to get my receipts in and out of here quickly. And so what I've decided to do is use this as more of a long-term receipt type of storage. Not long-term as far as storage, but if I needed to take something back or there, it was a rebate or something like that, that's where I will keep these receipts in here. And then I will get to the other one in just a minute. So the very middle of my elastic, we're still on that fourth elastic with my financial and wallet system, is my insert that I made to keep track of my expenses and my budget and things like that. So that has not changed at all. This is the back of the leather zipper case with the zipper part and still the same thing. I've got my Dave Ramsey cash envelopes in here with the, with the dividers and just the money that I need to carry around for that week. And so I really like that. And then here are a few receipts that as you can see, when I'm at the store, I just kind of stuff these right here and then I put my change and my, my bill change right here. And so these are the ones that I need to go back and to put and to track into my insert right here. So that will these will stay here until I actually do that. And so this is where I will put my receipts until I either recycle them and or 
put them down in my insert. And then this is another card that I need to use a store card. And so that's how I use that. And then this is the back of that plastic zip. Then this is the zip part, as you can see. And here's where I do have a couple more pieces of my favorite pad of paper, because these are even bigger than that Yoda paper that I have. So again, I just, I like to have just variety and a couple of things if I need it. This is a quarter because for some reason I'm super paranoid about not having a quarter when I go to Aldi. So I have one here in this wallet. I normally don't carry any other change except for this one. When I get change from the store, I throw it in either my pocket or my purse and then I put it straight into my piggy bank when I get it to home. But I do keep a quarter in here at all times. I also keep one in my purse and in my car just to make sure because I have gone to Aldi before and gotten caught without a quarter and as you all can imagine that's super annoying and then on the back I just have my Sam's card I like to keep this one here because I like to just open up my traveler's notebook and flash this at the door I think that's super annoying I don't know why they do that because you know you can't get out of the store without having a card but anyway that's why I keep it here so I don't have to like kind of flip through and find it here and pull it out of that one and then again more of those reset girl honey collection stickers so really just really cute and just for color right now so that is my whole setup and then I wanted to show you how it has gotten fatter you know I can't I can't lie about that it does it's gotten fatter and the only thing I would say with these two zippers right here I have to make sure that they're not both all the way to the top if that makes sense because it does get a little bulky so this one I usually have just a little bit farther down this one it also is a little bit harder to zip up and so that's why it's just like that and then this one I usually have for the most part all the way zipped up but yeah it does get a little bit bulky there and it is a little bit more bulky here down at the bottom I think that's just because of the cards and the pockets that are down there here's how it looks on the bottom this is very full and a little bit fatter than I want it to here is the top of that I also have just still a an ollie clip and then this is my little tab that I made with my word of the year and that is my weekly tab that I use and then this is for my daily and then this is for my monthly so that's just how it looks and as far as the way it still feels good in my hand even though it's a little bit fat you know here's how it is whereas you want it more like this but I think when the daily insert is going to run out in November I think I'm just going to try and tough it out again with just a monthly and a weekly in here until the end of December when I start my, a new system for the new year. But anyway, that is how my traveler's notebook has morphed over the past few months and I really still just completely love it. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon.